Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on binomial theorem. The question here is, determine the general term of x to the power of 4 minus 2 over x squared whole to the power of 5. Find the coefficient of the term containing x to the power of minus 6. Right? Now, a general term is normally written as tr plus 1 and is ncr you may write like this also a to the power of n minus r times b to the power of r in our case the first term is x to the power of 4 and the second term is minus 2 over x square n in our case is 5 so n is equals to 5 a is equals to x to the power of 4 and b is equals to minus 2 over x square now at times when you have a minus we may write minus 1 to the power of r also in the beginning but if you treat b as a negative number then it gives you the right results right <clears throat> now let's write down its expansion so this 5 is n, so we get 5cr, a is x to the power of 4, x to the power of 4 to the power of n is 5, 5 minus r, b is minus 2 over x square to the power of r. So that becomes the general term for us, right? So that is the general term. We can write this as general term. So that's part one. The second is, find the coefficient of the term containing x to the power of minus 6. x to the power of minus 6. We can actually simplify this term. So let's simplify this. So we could write this as 5cr x to the power of x to the power of 4 times 5 is 20 minus 4r and here we get x to the power of minus 2r minus 2r and we have minus 2 to the power of r is it okay so let me simplify this and then rewrite the general term as 5cr x to the power of 20 minus 6r, right? So we get 20 minus 6r times minus 2 to the power of r. Correct? This is a better general term. So let me say this is my answer for part 1. Second is find the coefficient of the term with x to the power of minus 6. That means we'll equate 20 minus 6r to minus 6 and find the value of r, right? So we can simplify this, taking 6 to this side, we get 20 plus 6 equals to 6r, 26 divided by 6 is r. Now as you know, r has to be a natural number, right? So that means no value can satisfy, so that does not exist. Right? So in this case, there is no term which will have x to the power of minus 6, right? So therefore, the answer is no term will have term, no term uh, will have x to the power of minus 6, right? So that is very clear from here, right? I hope that helps. You can always share and subscribe to my videos. Feel free to post questions. Thank you and all the best.